I'm going to show you something that has completely changed my portrait photography, which is shooting directly to a tethered iPad on location. This is like a literal game changer. Very nice, Nora. Check out what this can do. Not only can clients now see themselves on a much bigger screen, but they can see the picture fully post-processed in real time. Check out the before and after. Maybe my favorite thing about this is showing it to the portrait client because by default, we're all sort of using the back of the camera, right? But the screen is very small here. The image is pretty washed out, but also it's completely unedited. Now, North here is a professional model, but when you shoot somebody who's a little bit insecure about themselves, maybe they have wrinkles or skin problems, when you show them the picture on the back of the camera, that can make the rest of the photo shoot worse. Like, they become insecure. Take a look at the picture on the back of the camera versus the picture on the iPad. Like, how do those each make you feel? I mean, huge difference. One is a lot smoother, it's more enhanced. It's like a free facelift. <laughs> Thank you. The software I'm using right now is a Voto AI, the iPad version of it. And this is, this is pretty new and it's pretty amazing too. You can tether it either with the USB-C cable or with Wi-Fi. The USB-C cable is definitely faster and in the field I want the images to pop up as fast as possible so that's what I'm using. And they, they do, they pop up in just a split second. It happens in real time. The app does need an internet connection in order to do the AI processing of it in order to smooth out wrinkles or remove blemishes or remove wrinkles from clothes. It sends it back and forth to a server. So to solve that out here in the field, I have it tethered to my iPhone. So no extra fee or connection is required. And we'll use this instead of the back of the screen to really zoom in and make sure that I've nailed focus and that the lighting is nice. And, and yeah, in fact, my R5 Mark II here is, is doing a really good job. The first step of my process is, is really to apply my standard preset. And I do that over here. I click the camera icon here, and then we have the option to either set a specific preset, including one that I've created before, like warm portrait. These I've, I've saved from my computer and they're automatically synced to my iPad. Or we could just do sync with previous. And I like sync with previous because then if I apply a preset to one picture, all the following pictures that I take will be automatically synchronized. And that's nice because it gives me the chance to make changes to the editing specific to the model or the portrait client. Like maybe the portrait client has uh, hair where it's a little bit wild and I might need to remove some stray hairs. I can just drag the stray hairs removal slider all the way to the right and get rid of those. I actually like a few of the stray hairs in Nora's hair showing. So I'll leave that down, but I can also smooth the hair. I can tame frizzy hair. And here's one that's really important to me as a photographer, de-wrinkle and de-blemish clothing. I have a dog. If you have a pet, you probably have pet fur on your clothing. That's a pain to remove in Photoshop, but Avoto does that completely automatically just by adjusting a slider. And you can see it in real time during the portrait shoot. So somebody shows up with wrinkled, hairy clothing Avoto makes it look perfect and it does it in real time. And, and there is this feedback loop where the client sees themselves looking good and then they have a little bit more confidence and they smile a little bit and they glow a little bit. And that's, that's one of my favorite things about it. That's still nice. Yeah, and you're right, that is, that is a nice portrait, yeah. Especially for just natural light. Now, Nora has her jacket on now. Nora, do you have any pets? I have two cats. Two cats. This is Nora's jacket. And then this is with de-blemished clothing on. Look at the difference. And isn't that crazy that you can do that in real time on location? I wrote books on Photoshop and that would have taken me hours at the computer later to do. And I can do this in real time and then just airdrop it to the client or share it on a website. It's so crazy powerful. Let's take a walk.
I also like to mount it to a tripod. I do this in workshops. That makes it a little easier for me to see and I don't have to move it around. And if I'm teaching people or if there's an art director or a parent who just wants to double check the pictures, this makes it really convenient. It doesn't interfere with the operation of the camera at all. So we have a nice little scene here with pumpkins and gourds all fall. Uh, Nora, let me have you over by that railing there. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like that with your arms. That's really nice. I love being able to apply makeup in real time and it looks completely realistic. So if somebody doesn't have time to do their makeup, you can do this. These aren't locked in. These are settings that I can later change. What I'm seeing now is something that I could share in real time since it's on an iPad or just something that's really good for previewing for making the client look better. A voter will even remove hand veins. Move that slider here and you can see little purple veins just kind of disappear. It's subtle, but an improvement. And Nora hasn't asked for this, nor does she need it, but some clients do want to look thinner in their pictures. So I want to just demonstrate how that works. A photo has a full body reshape feature. And just by sliding this to the left a little bit, I can make subjects thinner. Or I guess maybe if I wanted to, I could make them bigger. I can even make Nora taller <laughs> or change the size of her head or the neck width. The options here are pretty unlimited. Sky replacement is another life-saving Avodo feature. If you get boring skies, you can just pop in a different sky. Avodo includes a ton of skies for you to choose from. Blue skies, bright blue skies, sunset, starry night skies, and it's amazing how perfectly Avodo selects hair. Look, every individual flyaway is blended perfectly into the background, making this replacement look seamless. Tethering is amazing in controlled environments like the studio too. Like check out this backdrop that I have here. The floor is all wrinkled up, but I can fix that in just a couple of clicks. First, the distractions removal removes the biggest wrinkles and bits of noise on the sensor. Clean backdrop removes all the wrinkles, but leaves the natural shadow created by the bend in the background. If I want to get rid of that, I just click unify lighting. And now there's a completely smooth white background that retains the shadows from the subject, creating a perfect background that would require complex lighting and a $100,000 cyclorama to be built. You can also swap in completely different backgrounds like fabric backgrounds and check out how perfectly it masks against the hair. If you wanna try this out and see how it changes your portrait photography workflow, uh, use the link I have here. That'll get you some free credits. And then if you decide to sign up and use more credits, which you probably will, my coupon code here will get you 15% off. Thanks Avoto for sponsoring this video. And uh, I hope it improves your photography as much as it has mine. For me, it saved me so much time that the tiny amount of cost is totally worth it because I get off my computer sooner. I'm back taking pictures or I'm marketing my photos or I'm just relaxing and not working. So thanks Avoto for making AI that gives me back my life as a photographer.